This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, it's Sinlessy here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building a tiny little bungalow style house, which I think turned out so super cute. And I hope you guys will like it too. So I am building in the new world of Del Sol Valley that is coming with the new expansion pack, Get Famous. And a huge thank you to EA for providing me an early access copy of this expansion pack. I'm so excited and grateful to be able to share this early with you guys so you guys can get a little bit of a closer look at it before its release. So what I wanted to build was a starter house using the new expansion pack with base game only. So if you have the base game and the new expansion, you can definitely use this house. And it ends up being a two bedroom, one bathroom house. And originally I was going to make this a starter home for a single sim. Because if you're familiar with The Sims 4 and starting out, you get 20,000 simoleons. But if you have more sims, you get a little bit extra money. And so later on in the build, you'll notice that I have more money. And that's because I moved my sim out and then moved two sims in. And that way they had a little bit bigger of a budget because I was quickly running out of money and this house was going to be so empty and just so bare. But it ends up being a pretty cute starter house. It's very cutesy from the exterior, kind of grandma-y. I think especially with the flower box and kind of the chunkiness of the roof, I feel kind of grandma vibes from those, but I was so excited to use that flower box, I couldn't help it. I was like, no matter what I build, it's gonna have the flower box on it. It's like my favorite new item in this expansion pack. It's so cute. Um, so I wanted to use that, and the inside is a little bit more kind of grungier looking, not as cutesy, but I still really like it a lot. So I hope you guys will like it too. I was kind of limited on the items that I was able to use since I was going for base game and get famous because the new items with get famous, there's a lot of really expensive items. So I was kind of limited what I could use from that pack and base game is just limited because there's not a whole lot of items. If I was to use like city living or something, I would have had a lot more options for cheaper items in game like the countertops and the refrigerator and stove would have been a lot cheaper but i managed to get it all done and we also have a garage and in there i put two guitars and a microphone because i was thinking that the roommates that live in this house were both aspiring to be musicians and famous musicians so they use their garage as like band practice or something like that and i thought that was such a fun idea and i think this would be a pretty cool household to play with and get them famous maybe they're in a band together or maybe they branch out on their own and become famous singers or guitarists or whatever they would like to be, but I thought that was a pretty cool story. That is pretty much it though for the garage. It's completely empty other than that, but this is a starter house, so I was completely limited with what I could put in there. And this lot was so expensive. I think this lot cost 2,400 simoleons, something like that, but it's a huge lot. It's like a tool, I think 40 by 30 but the lots in this starter neighborhood are all huge. Like I think the one right next to this one is like a 50 by 40. It has no house on it. It's kind of like decorated like it's a park, but it's not really a park. It's just like it doesn't have a house on it. Uh, I don't know why they're so big and there's not very many of them. There's only three lots in this neighborhood, which is probably the biggest downfall to this expansion pack is the size of the new world. At least in my opinion, I was when I was first showed the new world when I was at um, Sims Camp in London, that was the first thing that I noticed was that the world was so tiny. And I've heard a lot of other simmers complain about that as well too. It's still beautiful though, and I still love all of the new content that's coming with this expansion. But if I was to probably complain about one thing, that would be my number one complaint, that the world is very tiny. And especially this neighborhood, there's only like three lots. So can't have very many neighbors and even the the ha like the houses in the hills, there's only three of those too. So kind of limited with the number of households that you can have in this world. But I'm still very excited to build here, very excited to build like fancy rich sim homes. And I'm also really looking forward to building community lots because we got some great items that came for like the movie sets and things like that. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. And we also got a brand new update where we got terrain tools. So I use that like really minimally in this build. I really need to spend some time and actually practice terrain tools because I am so bad at the terrain manipulation, but it is such a great update. We also got the new style influencer career. First person, which I think is so cool. It's so different and I think it adds so much more to the game. And we also got the ability to change foundation heights on different buildings. So that's actually what I did on this lot. The house is on a foundation and the garage isn't. So that's something I wanted to do just to kind of mess around with that a little bit. So this door leading out from this hallway will actually go into the garage and then you'll have to step down to go into there. So that's really cool, but I'm excited to play around with that a little bit more and really looking forward to the point when we can 
adjust the foundation levels on rooms that are touching because at this point we can only adjust the heights of foundation levels on rooms that are away from each other and not actually touching so we can't really do real split leveling inside homes or anything but hopefully it'll come in the future but for now I think this is so much fun and I'm excited to use it in more builds but I am on to the interior now and I started off by laying out the appliances and kind of some of the more expensive items figuring out a bed and this bathroom was such a weird shape it ends up being a little bit smaller later on and it has the most basic stuff in that bathroom all of like the white bathtub and the white sink just the cheapest ones that we have um, I didn't change the color of them because the color options are really bad I think the sink has like a green option and maybe like a darker I think like a black option so I just went with the white it's a little bit boring but that's okay it is a starter house you can always add on to it more and I was thinking that the second story the like false second story that I created could always be added on to if you decided to play in this house and you get more money you could always add a staircase up there and make a full-on second story and I think that would be pretty good it makes the house a little bit more expandable I think anyways but this rug look at how pretty it is I like laid it down and I was like okay I'm, I don't even need to look at any more. This is the rug I'm going to use. I love the new rugs in this pack so much. Like the new rugs, the wall art, the new plants, and that window box are just all so perfect. I love all of those items so, so much. And actually while decorating this house, I realized that some of the wall art it's actually really cheap so you'll notice that the posters that I put in this living area and one of the bedrooms and then this display case that I put in the other bedroom are all like 50 80 simoleons something like that so it was perfect because other than that I was going to be able to afford no paintings there's some other really nice paintings that came with this expansion but they're all really expensive but this one right here it was like 80 simoleons or something so I put that in there and then I also used that same rug that I used in the living room just in a different swatch the rug also comes in a few swatches that are different sizes, which I didn't notice when I was doing my review, so that's pretty interesting. And over here, I was going to put a desk, but I decided not to because I thought it was a little bit too expensive. And then I decided to place a dresser there, which I also end up getting rid of, which you guys might want to put a dresser in this house if you like that bit of realism, because I decided not to. Since your Sims don't actually need a dresser to change, I decided it really wasn't worth the money and I would rather spend the money on extra decorations and those kinds of things. I really liked using that brick that I put behind the refrigerator and stove. I think it's so pretty. It is new with this expansion and it's just beautiful. I really like this soft kind of blue gray look. I think it's so different to other bricks that we have in game so I really like that a lot. And here is that other poster that I was talking about that is super cheap. I really like the one that I put out in the living room. I think it is so pretty and looks like an old romantic movie or something like that and then here's where I was going to place the dresser like I mentioned but I do delete it and I think I delete that mirror as well to save some money because when it came to doing some landscaping I was really running out of money and I didn't want it to be completely bare I wanted there to be some like trees and bushes and I went with like the most typical ones that I always use when it comes to starters um, they're the base game low line flowers with like the orange flowers on them they're really cheap and they look pretty good sized up so I use a couple of those and then some trees scattered about and then I also use some little bushes and a couple other random trees but it ends up being pretty well landscaped I think for the build anyway so I hope you guys do like the way that turns out and now I'm just sorting out the pathways and I did talk over me placing the instruments in the garage but Really, it's nothing special. If you decided that you wanted to do something else with your Sims, that would be a great way to save some money. You could just sell those and get some quick money easily. I think that would also be an adorable garage for like a gardener. You could put the flower bench in there. I'm really excited to be able to do more garages and have them actually look a little bit better. Um, hopefully we'll get more car options in the future. This car is actually a statue. Um, I've had people ask in previous builds where the cars come from in The Sims 4. They're just statues and if you use the control bracket, the right bracket key, then you can size objects up. And so if you size the car up, it looks like they have a car in the driveway, which is always really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see if we will get more garage stuff in the future because it seems like we are I even noticed that they changed the icon on the bottom screen where you go to travel it used to have an airplane and now it has a picture of a car so interesting I have speculations but here I am trying to mess with terrain tools just ignore it close your eyes don't even look at me doing it because I have no idea what I'm doing it's so bad I'm definitely gonna have to just spend some time and 
try it out or just mess with it try different ideas and actually learn how to use it because I've seen some people use it and they're so good at it already and I'm like how like when we went to Sims camp Devin Bumpkin was like a master at the beginning I'm like how do you do this I don't understand but um yeah hopefully I will get better and I will try to make pretty different terrains and rolling hills and all those kinds of things and here I'm just adding some extra terrain paint. I think that is a new terrain paint that came with the update and not the expansion. So that's really cool and it looks really pretty and I really liked adding that little bit of extra detail. And here I'm just messing with the roofs a little bit more and I actually end up expanding this side of the house a little bit more because the roof looked so steep and narrow. I really wasn't liking it so I found a way to be able to afford it and I think it looks really nice and we are coming up on the screenshot so I hope you guys had enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go.